want to go out and see something new, you know, see some people you haven't seen in a long time. Just kind of uh, renew your senses, you know. You never miss those things until they're suddenly, you know, cut off from you. There's a lot of work that goes into what we do and making the wine, and it's really gratifying when you have a chance to actually share the product live with somebody. And there's been kind of a shortage of that. We've gone through a period here where it's been difficult for, for everyone, losing contact with people, losing that you know, interaction. You know, one of the great things about wine is it's, it, it, it's something that brings people together. This is kind of a celebration. It's kind of freeing, right, to be actually having an event, a live event. It's really fun to talk to people, especially people that are really into Ridge, and these people are into Ridge. Everybody's been doing everything we can with virtual tastings, but there's nothing like the real thing. You know, to just be uh, here sharing uh, some of our top wines. We've got the 01 Lytton Springs, that's a 20-year-old Zinfandel. Uh, and then, of course, the 84 Montebello. I remember 15 years ago, and I was pouring it with Paul, and uh, you know, we were both thinking it was, it was just perfect. I mean, you know, maybe it had five more years, and here we are, 15 years later, and it's just uh, as alive and, and even that much more complex. It's a terrific wine. We lived in California until two years ago. We were up in the tasting room at least once a month, and we miss that now. During the pandemic, they've had some Zoom sessions that were really interesting, and we really enjoyed those. Those helped us get through those isolated days. We've already met people from New Jersey and from... Midwest, Chicago area. Yes, Chicago. I really appreciated the 2008 Zinfandel tasting today. Never disappointed by a ridge wine. The first flight that we have here are three of our Zinfandel based wines from Lytton Springs, Pagani, and Geyserville. When these vineyards were being planted 100 and 120 years ago, field blends were actually more common than planting one single varietal. I really think there was a method to the madness. They were really trying to blend the wine in the vineyard. Montebello is a unique property on the, in the Santa Cruz Mountains, south of San Francisco. We're influenced by the Bay. It gets the Cabernet right, barely some years, um, but it keeps this great, beautiful acidity. It makes all the difference. So the next wine that we're going to talk about is the 1991 Montebello. It is one of my personal favorites of all the Montebellos. Every two, three years here and there, at occasions like this, we, you know, we keep tasting it, and it really seems like the wine just gets better. Even though the wine is getting older and older, rather than fading away, it almost gains power and intensity and yet the body just becomes more and more sort of ethereal. You look back there and you see people just in the chairs, reclining, looking at a beautiful sunset. Uh, you know, a, a, a little wind, perfect temperature, I, I don't think it gets better than this. <laughs>